What is art? It's kind of a hard question to ask, but I'll do my best. The exact definition is the expression or application of human creative skill and imagination, typically in a visual form such as painting or sculpture, producing works to be appreciated primarily for their beauty or emotional power. So by that definition, anything that's been created to elicit an emotional response is technically art. So who is to decide what is art and what is not? Is Gustav Mahler's Symphony No. 6 any more or less art than Daft Punk's Discovery? Or is a Banksy print any more or less art than American Gothic? What about movies? Is Moonrise Kingdom less art than Othello? And what about video games? Are games like Limbo, Just Cause 2, or Another World any less art than David, or Sunset Boulevard, or Napoleon Crossing the Alps? This argument has been raging on since the dawn of video games. Most critics stand firm in the belief that video games are not artistic because art may be made with a paintbrush or selected as ready-made, but it has to be an act of personal imagination. Because no one owns the game, that makes it not art. Frankly, that explanation is ridiculous and a little confusing. Let me explain. Did Michelangelo alone paint the Sistine Chapel? Contrary to popular belief, he didn't. He used students and other artists he commissioned to help fulfill his artistic vision, and yet it's considered the greatest painting of all time. Did Stanley Kubrick make 2001 A Space Odyssey alone? Well, again, obviously not, but it's considered one of the greatest films of all time. So did Shigeru Miyamoto make Super Mario Bros. alone? No, but it's still not art in the critic's eyes. I defy you to find a single critic who has even played a video game at all. Not even to completion, just like more than two hours. Most of the time, they just play enough of the game to get offended and then write their articles. To people who play games often, it's obvious video games belong in the same category as any art. The darkness of Limbo. The visuals of Journey. The heartache of Spec Ops The Line. The manipulation and vengeance of Bioshock. The feeling created by these games and thousands more like them just prove video games can move people like operas or symphonies. The stories portrayed can show depth and heartache like books or plays. The stylistic art style and visuals can inspire the same feelings as paintings or monuments. And video games have the ability to immerse the audience unlike any other medium. Their stories can be derived from plot or from the imaginations of the player. They can inspire, create, and motivate unlike anything before. Regardless if you game on a second-hand NES or a $10,000 rig, professional or casual, keyboard or analog stick, turn-based strategy or first-person shooter, video games are the next evolution of entertainment. They're not a passing fad, and they're not a localized cultural phenomenon. We as gamers already know this to be true. Now it's up to us to show the world video games are more than just mindless violence or pointless competition. After all, we're gamers for a reason. Oh, man, do I have a headache. <laughs> Basically, my grandma's turning 90 this week, so we're throwing her a huge party with family from miles around, which means we have people staying at my house for the next couple of weeks. Uh, needless to say, I won't be able to record for the next little while, so this week I pre-made a few videos in hopes of keeping some sort of schedule. But I might not even have enough time to upload, so don't expect anything until all this is over. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to practice my lines. It is so great to see you. Oh yeah, I've definitely grown since 1997. Hmm, why haven't I been to church in 17 years? That's a funny story. <laughs>